What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.5.1 jailbreak. A new jailbreak team and a new jailbreak has been announced. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a system repair tool which allows you to fix multiple iOS and iPadOS issues, upgrade and downgrade your device, enter and exit recovery mode and so on. Check it out in the link below. So out of the blue, Frida Sandbox posted, quote, we are building a new jailbreak team first release soon for iOS 13.5 up to 13.7. Who's in? So this actually came a couple of hours ago out of the blue from Frida Sandbox, which is actually this account in here, who I think is managed by Zekops because they have Zekops in their logo, if you take a look in here. And this account in here is not a troll account, it's not a fake account or anything like that. Most of the jailbreak developers in our community do follow the account in here, so they are definitely legitimate. And they seem to be looking to create a new jailbreak team with a new jailbreak that will be released soon for 13.5 up to 13.7 and of course I imagine a 12 and a 13 as well because otherwise there would be no point. So we might be able to get a new jailbreak in addition to the uncovered jailbreak which will be updated using the exploit by this developer in here because as you probably remember I talked with this developer in here and they said that they're going to release a TFP0 exploit that will be usable to update the uncover and of course they're going to send it to pawn and also make it public. Now in addition to uncover being updated we may also get a new jailbreak from free the sandbox which is a movement as I said created very likely by Zekops. Now just recently Zekops posted quote we tested the kernel LPE or local privilege escalation that will release publicly after it will be patched on iOS 14. The results our mobile DFIR solution detected the LPE or local privilege escalation in all cases without a specific signature. Special thanks to everyone involved. So this is not TFP0 although they seem to be dabbling in iOS related stuff lately especially for iOS 13.7 and lower and this seems to coincide with this in here which is their announcement of a 13.7 and lower jailbreak which is definitely very interesting. So we might be able to get a new jailbreak in the very near future. This is actually quite interesting and I actually told them that I would definitely like to help if I can help with anything to build this jailbreak because as you can see they're definitely looking for people to help. Now if you take a look on the Zekops blog in here they do seem to be interested in iOS quite a lot. They even found that very very weird male demon exploit or vulnerability which they analyzed and made publicly available so that it can be patched which was actually quite good. They seem to be interested quite a lot in iOS security and stuff like that so the fact that we might be able to get a jailbreak from Zekops is actually quite good. At this point it means that we're going to have to wait to see who gets there first. Either the Frida Sandbox movement or the uncovered jailbreak being updated to 13.7 and lower with the exploit from this developer in here. Now I'm not sure whether they're going to use the same exploit in fact this one here or whether they're going to provide their own though Zekops does seem to have a lot of iOS related vulnerabilities in their stash so probably that's not a problem. So what do I recommend for people waiting for a jailbreak on 13.7 and lower? So for the moment I would definitely advise you to stay on 13.7 and lower. If you are on 13.5.1 for example stay there. If you're on 13.7 stay there. But of course if you're on 13.6 for example stay there. If you're on iOS 14 this video unfortunately does doesn't apply to you. Stay tuned on the channel for more news. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.